something a little bit different on Rugby HQ. Last week, the Queensland Cyclones defended their title at the National Wheelchair Rugby Championships at Olympic Park in Sydney. Here's Ben Lloyd. Wheelchair rugby was previously called Murderball for a reason. It's not for the faint-hearted. These players mean business. It's definitely, uh, definitely something that hits you take, you know, real hurt. And, uh, you know, falling out all the time hurts a bit, but it's all part of it. It's all part of it. You get up and carry on. Many players have used wheelchair rugby as a building block to move forward from their disability or injury. I had cancer when I was 19 and a rare infection, uh, so it became a quadruple amputee. Uh, I'd always played sport before and I was looking to push my new body and see what I could do. You know, once you become disabled, people look down to you a bit and you just want to, you're just the same person you were before. Um, this is a great outlet to sort of um, to hit people and get away with it really or just to um, be a rough and tumble Aussie bloke. I grew up playing rugby since I could walk. Um, it was everything I wanted to do before I had my accident, you know, play for the Wallabies and, and just play rugby and it, it's such a, a great thing to have wheelchair rugby, you know, after your injury. Um, you know, I initially thought there was nothing I could do that was similar to what rugby had, you know, before my accident. And this sport's just, you know, great. It's just perfect for, for me. Travel is a major draw card of wheelchair rugby. The sport is played in over 25 nations all over the world and is a regular fixture at the Paralympic Games. The Australians won gold in London, proving an unforgettable experience. It's really difficult to try and describe to people because it's not really like anything else that I've ever done or, or experienced. It's just to, to see the amount of attention that it got over there and the crowds that we had and, and the people with all different kinds of disabilities as well, not just using wheelchairs. It's just, it was like being on another planet for two or three weeks. It was just amazing. These extraordinary athletes don't want sympathy. They want a chance to prove that despite certain physical limitations, they are just as committed and professional as able-bodied sportsmen. We train just as hard as able-bodied athletes. We, you know, we have the same kind of passion and drive and work ethic and um, teamwork and all that kind of stuff that able-bodied athletes do. So, I mean, if, yeah, if, if anybody doubts that, I challenge them to to watch a game of wheelchair rugby and, and you know, not be amazed at the skill and, and athleticism that's on display.